What the fudge, guys? It's Josh with Project Torture. We're doing a fifth blueprinting tutorial today, and we're going to learn something new. That's right, something new. The construction script, uh, it's pretty cool. We're basically, instead of saying we're going to make changes in the game, we're going to make changes right here in the editor. We're going to edit it the way we want. We're going to change the way we want, and we're going to see it function right here in front of us. So, hey, let's get started. I got this ball, and I got this box, and I love shapes, but they both need a material. So right-click, material. We'll name it test for now, which is fine, and we'll jump right in. And we, are, we just need a collar. But I want that collar to be able to be changed later, so I'm gonna type in vector. Par wait, 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 vector parameter, and there she is. Okay, so basically what I want to do is plug this in, but I have to decide. I have to decide what this is going to be. This name of the parameter. We're gonna name it collar for now. You can name it whatever you want, but just remember, however you spell it, whatever you do, it has to be the same because you're gonna need it to be on point. Just remember. Okay, so I got my material created. I'm gonna drag it over here. I got it right here. I'm gonna drag it over to my ball. I'm gonna put it right there. Call it a day. We'll go ahead and save it. Always save it. And we'll drag it over to my box. We'll do that one more time. We'll save that. And hey, now our box and our ball got the material we want and we can get started. So here's all our three things. And let's right click blueprint actor. I'm going to name it CS. And we're going to jump straight into that. Now we've, we've messed with the viewport before. It's fun. Um, add your components, your lights or whatever not. The event graph, we're going to add logic and make things happen and switch and move and collars and, and all that different stuff. We've played with it. But guess what? This thing right here is always happening we want to make changes now because we're needy people and we want it the way we want it and that's how we're going to do it so let's get started watch me work for loop type it in for loop we got it right here and just plug that in right here and then type in add static mesh component okay now i'm gonna start off simple we're basically going to plug this thing here and you're like well what's going on we need to add a static mesh component and it's asking when it's selected it's asking which one let's get that ball because we like that ball it's all black now we're going to basically go right here we how many times are we going to do it? this for loop is saying how many times we'll spawn it how many times uh one and how many last index well we don't know we haven't decided how many we want to spawn we don't know you can't force us to make that decision right now so we're going to right click and promote the variable so we can make that decision so let's go right here and let's name that variable spawn count uh-huh, uh-huh, there it is. So that's doing it for me. I got my spawn count here, and I'm going to compile, and now I can change that number to, we'll say 12 for right now. That's fine with me. I'm totally fine with that. Now, basically, what we need is a transform. A transform is like the location, the rotation, and the scale of this actor we're spawning. We need it. So let's just type in make transform, and there it is. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. So let's mess with the location. Let's mess with the location of where these things are going to spawn. Type in random unit vector. Mm-hmm. We're gonna multiply that by a float. Vector times float. We'll see it in there. Oh, I see it. So basically now what's happening is we got a random spot, and this is gonna take all three of those values in the X, Y, and Z and multiply them. So it's gonna create a radius of where they're gonna spawn. Okay, well, how big do we want the radius? Well, I don't know. Well, if you don't know and I don't know, and we don't need to make it right now, I'm not stressing out over it. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna promote that to a variable as well. And I'm gonna drag this thing down here and I'm gonna name it radius size. Yes. Size, uh-huh, uh-huh, or however I did that. We'll compile, and how big is it going to be for now? We'll go 500, and let's just see what we got going on here. Let's compile. Now, go to your My Blueprint, and here's your two variables that you've created. If you click this little yellow thing right here, little, uh, little eyeball happening, we're going to be able to focus on that and actually edit it outside into the editor. I'll show you. So here's our little network here. We're saying we're going to spawn it this many times on this much of a radius. We're making the decisions. Compile. Go back. And let's drag this thing in there and look at it doing it, looking at doing it, looking at doing it. Now we're going to do a stop here so we can see what it's doing. But uh, we can uh, see it picking a random unit vector and then picking a random spot to place the 12 and on the 500 radius, here it is. Here, default, the two variables you created right here, spawn count and radius size. I'm like 12. That's not doing it. We'll change it right now. 66. There's all kind of balls like they're doing stuff. The radius is at 500. You can name it to uh, 999 and look at it now. It's a bigger radius and you can add more and more and more and we can change it and change it. But right now, just keep it simple. Back to 500. I'm just showing you guys that you can edit this right, right here. Now we're going to edit a little bit more than that though. So we got a little 12 balls and our little 500 point radius. Let's go back in. Now, what else do we want to do? I'll tell you, I want to take that collar that we have and I want to use that to our advantage. So check it out. Let's, here's the return value. It's saying, what does that mean, you're thinking? Well, it's basically saying, of what object you have here, here's all of its stuff. So let's create a dynamic material instance. And what did we name that material? We named it test. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And there it is. And then we need to do what? Set the vector parameter value of the vector parameter. What do we name it? What do we name it? We named it collar. I remember that. 
and here it is. And we're like, well, now we can set it to whatever color we want. Cool. Okay. Well, we'll call you one. I don't know. You don't know. We're not going. I'm not doing that right now. I don't make that decision. You can't force me to do it. I'm just going to right click. I'm going to promote to a variable and we'll make that decision later. We're going to name that caller. And we're going to be like, yes, you know, can compile. So now we have that also in the mix. So if I'm correct, up, oh, up, oh, check it out. Go to your blueprint. Make sure you click that little yellow eyeball if you want the thing to show up in your editor. But now there it is, the collar of my balls. I got balls. Are, they're, 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 they're yellow and blue and whatever you want. And now, I mean, just more change that you've added to your blueprint. Oh, we're going to keep going. We're going to basically do one more couple or a couple of little more things here. I want to actually take this scale, though. Because that's the size of that ball. I mean, what if I want it to be bigger than just that? What if it's smaller, bigger? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to make that decision right now. I'm going to promote that to a variable. I'm going to name it um, actor scale. And um, we're going we're gonna to use that to our advantage. That's what we're going to do. We're going to compile. And now we're going to, hey, go to your My Blueprint and put the little yellow eyeball going on. Compile it again. Jump back in. Oh, yes. You already see what's happening. I want to change this to like 25. I'm going to change this to about... 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Uh, a bunch of eights, three of them, whatever color we want, uh, like a red. And then if I can go right here and go to the scale instead of one, 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 let's go three, three, three. Oh, yes. The balls are bigger. Big them, big them. And we're just going to kind of move them around here. You can see them still doing its thing. I mean, now, as you can tell, we have very, a lot of stuff to customize here. We can really play with it. But we're going to do one more thing. I got that cube. He feels lonely. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it at all. Let's take all this. And drag it over here. And now I want you to control C and control V. Now we have another copy of it. Now I want this one to be the cube. Go to the details, not the ball, but the cube. And now you're like, well, you know, how are we going to do this exactly? Well, we need a branch. And type in the word branch. And I'm going to plug this in here. So basically I'm saying something, if something is true, I want it to do this. But if it's false, I want it to do this. Well, well, what do we want? Is it going to be true or false? Well, we don't know. And we're not, we don't have to make that decision right now. We're going to right click and promote that to a variable because everything can be a variable. We're going to name that ball with a, with a question mark. And we're going to, we're going to save that and compile. And it's going to be true, which means, Hey, it's on. But guess what? If we go to the blueprints, yellow, that little thing right there, it's going to show up. Oh, it's going to show up right here. And if I unclick that now, bam, we got all kind of boxes. And now, as you can tell, we can change between boxes. We can change this. I mean, we could do two, two, and five and make them rectangles. You could change them to a purple, bluish, purple, blue. You could go up here and change the radius. You could spawn so many your computer freaks out. I mean, it is just ridiculous what you can do here. But guys, I hope you learned something cool. You just play around with it. Have some fun. The construction strip is definitely something for people that like to customize their blueprints on the fly. I love it. And I hope you guys learned a lot. I'll be getting back with you guys soon. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And if you have, I appreciate you watching. And go check out the Facebook page if you want. We try to keep it updated as well. But uh, you guys have a great day. It was a pleasure. I'll talk to you soon.